Hi, boys and girls. I'm in here looking at our model of the tabernacle and I wanted to share it with you. I've been looking in Exodus in our Bible and I said that our, our uh, text for this study is Exodus 26. And that's where it talks about the holy tent or the tabernacle. But there are so many chapters later too that even before Exodus 26, starting in Exodus 25, it talks about the offerings. And there are just so many different uh, chapters in that area, 25 all the way up to 30, that are talking about specific directions that God had about making this tabernacle. God was so wanting to be with his people. And this was a way that God said that he could. So he wanted the people to work to make this tabernacle so that he could be with them. And um, that's exactly what they did. They, uh, if you can see, I'm going to put the curtains back over the, the tent part of it. But you can see the outer area is um, draped with material and poles and this is what um, this is how they protected the holy place and the holy of holies this whole area remember we said was about the size of half of a football field so starting at the 50 yard line until it, all the way to the uh, goal post that's a big area we know that around this area is where the 12 tribes were they would camp out and the tribe of Levi the Levites were the ones in charge of the tabernacle setting it up taking it down when it was time to move and we know that Aaron and his family were Levites so this it, there's a story about that I'll tell you in a minute about how Aaron became the high priest the first high priest so when you start coming into the tabernacle you see the altar of sacrifice and this is what this is. This is where they would put their sacrifices. Now, in the Old Testament, boys and girls, they had to have lots of different sacrifices for different things, different sins. But basically, a sacrifice was made to, to make them clean and pure of the sins that they had committed. We today don't have to do this because of who? That's right, because of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross and he was our perfect sacrifice. And we are so thankful that he, all we have to do is pray to God and tell God we're sorry and we are forgiven. Well, in the Old Testament, Jesus hadn't died on the cross yet. He hadn't come to earth yet. And so they did this instead. They put, made their sacrifice here. They had to choose the perfect animal to put on the altar and to sacrifice. After they did this, this is the laver, and they had water in this. Now, this is where the priests would take over. Many people, probably many Levites, would help with the sacrifice part. But when it got down to the, going into the holy place and the holy of holies, that was only the holy place, only priests could go in. So they would wash their hands in the laver, and then they would go in to the holy place. Now, in the holy place, there were three pieces of furniture, and I hope that you can see them. I'll raise them up to make sure. This is the table of showbread that had uh, 12 loaves on it, one for each of the tribes, and this was provided. God wanted the people that took care of the tabernacle, the holy place, to be able to have nutrition, and so every Sabbath day, they would put more bread on the show table, the showbread table. This is that lamp stand we were talking about. It made out of pure gold and they put oil in here and they kept it lit because it would be dark in this tent without this light. So this light we know stands for so much more than just keeping it lit. God wants us to be the light of the world. He wants us to go and share. And so there are so many things we can think of always keeping it lit, always keeping the oil in there so that it can be lit and we can always shine our lights then we have the table, or I'm sorry, this is the altar of incense. And so you can see how the poles are there so that when they're ready to move it, all they have to do is everybody, four different people would grab a pole and then they would be able to walk it. But they kept incense here every morning. They would put different incense in there to keep it smelling good. Okay, the most exciting and important part. This is the holy place. Different priests could go in here. 
only one priest could go into the next part because this is where God stayed. Oh, it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous to even unveil it. But the only thing that was in here, you can see one piece of furniture, and it was the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is where the uh, cherubims, two cherubims on each side, God, the holy seat is right here. This is where God sat with each a cherubim on each, each side. Inside the box, and we know that nobody could touch this. They touched the poles when they carried it, but inside the box there was, I will show you very carefully, we have a jar of manna. A jar of manna meaning God always provides, okay? We have the Ten Commandments, the tablets, the two tablets, and God, this is, this is where they carry the Ten Commandments. And then inside here is also Aaron's staff. I promised you a story about that. They kept Aaron's staff in here because Aaron was going to be the first high priest. Okay, so I'm going to very carefully put this back here. This is where the high priest went in here to um, only once a year he would go in here. But this is where God was, and this is where he stayed in the tabernacle. Now that rod, I promised you a story about Aaron. I want you to look over at the blue coat that I've laid out on the floor. Aaron was the first high priest, and the way God picked him was one person, one man from each tribe laid out his staff one night. God said, this is how I'm going to choose. You're going to come back the next day, and whoever's staff, you'll be able to tell who the leader is. It will be marked. So one person from each tribe wrote their name on their staffs. They came back the next day, and one staff had blooms on it, blooms and flowers, like little uh, buds and flowers, and that was Aaron's. And so that was the way that God showed everyone who needed to be the very first high priest, and that was Aaron. So Aaron and his sons were the ones that went into the holy place and the holy of holies first, and they were the ones that took care of the tabernacle along with their tribe, the Levite tribe. I hope this helps you to understand really how specific God is when he gives us directions. God, God is a God of order. He had, an, he had a plan. He, it was an orderly plan that could be followed, and it was a, his plan was a way to be with his people. It was so important for God to be with his people and to let them know how much he loved them. He wants to be with us. And today, we know he can do that. We have to allow him to do that. We can, we can certainly be with God when we read our Bibles. We can be with God when we pray and when we praise him. Those are ways that we can be with God now so that one day we will get to be with him forever and ever in heaven. I hope this helps you understand the importance and of being with God and just the overall love that he has for us. Just know I love you too, and hopefully we'll see you so soon in Sunday school. I can't wait.